Next up, Ogiming presents Nation War number three. Uh, after a uh, pretty sad... Wait, did wait, did Norway win the season two? Nation Wars two. I don't remember. I'm I'm trying to look it up. I didn't know. watch. You didn't watch? Oh yeah, you you can't play in it, right? Yeah, I didn't participate. So. Right, let me see. That's fucked. <laughs> No, I just didn't watch. Like not because I didn't play. I just didn't watch. All right, Nation Wars number two. Yeah, Norway won. Minutes. Norway won, and then Mexico came second, and then France finished third. Um. French. Oh, French had Lelbo back then in the lineup. Are uh, they gonna have him now? <laughs> I get, I don't know. I don't know. I I think I think uh I think a lot of French people still have a lot of pride about Lelbo despite all of this. I tried to look up some of their forums, but it didn't. Uh, I didn't. I I wasn't very lucky to find what they um, what they wanted. But anyway, or what they thought of it. But uh, so yeah, Nation Wars uh, season three was announced. Uh, you can, if you're a GM player, or uh, yeah, it's GM or challenger player. You can uh, submit your application today. Uh, the link. Uh, is not being publicly distributed. You have to contact uh, Dr. Aromi on uh, Twitter, I believe. Uh, but basically, there's going to be a qualifier this time around. I don't know if there was a qualifier last time. There's going to be online portion and an offline portion. The finals, the round of four, and the finals will be played in per, uh, Paris, Paris, uh, January 13 of uh, next year. It's, gonna, it's coming up really quickly. Um, so Mo, do you think Team Sweden is a chance? Um, yeah, I th like Sweden is looking uh, really strong right now. Sort of, uh, both sort of and Sunster qualified for the Dream Act winter thing it was incredibly one-sided as far as uh, as far as them goes. I mean, I I think I could maybe like catch up to the other guys. Uh, because of the race switch and all that. I'm not absolutely sure about that. But if it's like a popularity invite again... Uh, You're going to get it. I, <laughs> I think I might be able to get it, to be honest. But no, I'm not top three player in Sweden right now. But uh, yeah, if we go for like our best lineup possible, I definitely think we could get very far. I mean, even back then, I thought Sweden was like really fucking good. But we just, we just kind of failed. Uh, oh, no, dude. No real... Don't even get me that. started. We beat Germany. I beat TLO with Mass Phoenix. And then we yeah. lost to fucking Mexico. We lost to like the worst cheeses ever. Scarlet got two racks. Got major? Yeah, no, it was Maker actually that pulled mm -hmm. out really good, strong cheeses. Like uh, Scar nice. Scarlet got cheesed out. Uh, Huck got Marina CV'd all in. It was just, it was a shit show. We really didn't do so well. Maker took two, down, uh, two, uh, two of us down and then Major took two of us down. It was uh, it was quite sad, really. Um, but yeah, I, I think the I think Nation Wars is like, uh, besides WCS, one of the nicest tournament to watch. I mean, uh, obviously every other tournament is filled with Koreans, but Nation Wars is really the one where you, as a person of your country, <laughs> gets to cheer for your people. Uh, obviously, not every country has a lot of good players, so we'll see we'll see how it goes. I think. Uh, I think Norway is still going to be very strong. And I, I think Poland is going to do a better performance than last time. You know, Mana is improved. And uh, Elazer as well. So, uh, I wish... Go on. Like, uh, I want to play in that thing. But obviously, Serbia has like 20 total players. Not like high-ranked players. Like 20 total probably players in the country. Uh, so, I don't know if people are actually GM for from those who play. I know there have been two players. I don't know if they still even play. I don't think so. Uh, I wish they would allow me to like make a team that's like European leftovers. So I can pick like two, three more players and create a team. But that's probably not going to happen. So yeah, sucks. Yeah, they, me. yeah, it really does. By the way, the English stream hasn't been announced. Last time I think they used Caldor. Uh, and I think they tried to use Total Biscuit for some of their other stuff. So I don't know if they'll go to base trade right away or if they want to go a step above that in terms of 
uh, notoriety, I suppose. I don't <laughs> I don't want to say anything bad about base trade. Uh, I like them. Uh, but yeah, that concludes. Oh, actually, no, the last topic, and it's not too late to go vote in the poll. I know we kind of talked a bit about it a little bit last week, uh, but just I wanted to touch about it again now that the beta is officially down. Were you or were you not satisfied with the beta? There's been a lot of talks on Reddit, you know, uh, was the economy tested enough? Uh, you know, investors were in touch, this and that. Uh, all in all, just very, like, maybe, you know, short answer, brief answer, not too long answer. Mo, were you satisfied with the beta? Uh, yeah, I was I was satisfied. It, like, you could really feel a difference from Horizon beta and Legacy beta. Uh, it, it felt like I made, I made a difference, and it felt like uh, people got to say what I wanted. Uh, Blizzard really listened to the community a lot this time around, and I think we... We, we saw a lot of results from it. I mean, so many of these changes were like community suggested. So I'm satisfied with beta. I think it was a little bit slow in the end there. I think it could, I think there's more stuff to do. I, I think David Kim thinks the game is more balanced than it actually is. But as far as design goes, I think the units have a nice place and so on. And the economy ended up working uh, very nicely. And I think the macro mechanics uh, that we are a very good place right now. But of course, I'm a little bit bummed up about that. Some of the things that I really like, like double harvest model, I mean, that never even got tested. Uh, but I mean, this is like, again, it's reality. This is not a fair tale. So that was not, wasn't realistic. But despite that, it, it, was, it was very nice, I think. Very nice. I, I hope there's some changes before their release. I mean, when they release the game, and if they keep the balance that is right now, I mean, we're... We're gonna have a Zerg champion. I can guarantee you that. For Dreamac, right? Yeah, for Dreamac. Yes. Yeah, that's gonna be pretty sad. I'm, I'm a little bit sad they haven't announced invites for Dreamac. But anyway, uh, Beastie, what about you? Satisfied or not satisfied with the beta? I mean, your Marauders are basically shit now. But I'll say to that. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna touch on that since I'm gonna probably forget. Marauders are like useless to make. It's better to just have Marines in almost every matchup. Because they deal less uh, DPS. Anyway, um, with the beta. So I want to start with saying that I love Legacy. I hated HOTS. Like, even when I played it, I just did not have fun playing the game. I think Legacy is a way better game. Uh, it's way more interesting. There's different play styles. The game is not like, I'm going to turtle up and just fucking kill you. Except Zerg. Um, so I like the game, the beta... I'm not satisfied because I don't think the game is done. Um, obviously, I know someone is going to say, like, yeah, but they could do changes after the game is released. Yes, they, they can, but um, I think you can release the games, get the game when there's, like, small imbalances. I think there's some pretty big things that are just wrong that need to be fixed before game gets released. And then the numbers can always be tweaked by a little bit. Uh, so that's the thing I don't like. I think uh, it would be better if the game was released in like February and they did like eight or nine more balance patches with different units. But yeah, fucking hate Cyclone. <laughs> Actually, I had like a really good time and uh, I, my off race is pretty shit. It's like min master. I had a really good time doing mech versus Zerg. You just mass Cyclone and Aliens. And then I transitioned into BCs, and I just made uh, Alien Cyclone BCs, L bats all game, and I beat like a French Canadian Zerg, and uh, I was really, I was really proud of myself. It was really fun, but I can see why you would hate the Cyclone. Um, what the fuck? All right, sorry. Um, as for did I enjoy the beta? Um, yeah, it was, it was, it was good. It was, I don't know, it felt, it felt not, like, people said it was longer than Heart of the Swarm, but it felt, like, similar in length. Right, Mo? Am I, am I wrong? No. Hots was way shorter, right? We had seven months for Legacy, and then Hots was, what, September to February? So, yeah, there's like five months versus seven months. Yeah, I don't know. I still feel like it could have been worked on a lot more. But I'm happy the game is coming out because, you know, streaming-wise, it's just... It's, it's, been, uh, it's been like a tug-of-war. Like, 
oh, but you're not streaming Heart of the Swarm. I want to see Heart of the Swarm. And then some people are like, oh, but I want to see Legacy. And so it's great that uh, finally we're going to be like on one track, everyone all together. Um, so anyhow, let's see. Uh, let's get to the Reddit questions. Uh, you can go ask your question on Reddit. Type exclamation mark Reddit in chat. Uh, Reddit question times. All right. So... Uh, do you guys think there is some hidden feature for Legacy reveal at BlizzCon? Like Ken did mention, we will shit our pants after the summit, but couldn't reveal why, because of the NDA. Do, do you guys want me to cut to the bullshit? Um, I think that was just like hype talk, and I think the only new thing we're gonna see is WSS system, and that's it. So, uh, the amount of cookies they had for free at the Blizz HQ was quite high. And I, so I think Lycan was a little bit high on that. Um, there's, there's a lot of great things they're working on, but to literally shit your pants, I mean, that's just, um, I, you know. I, he's, he still has to live with the people that still, like, ask him every time, like, so when am I shitting my pants? So I guess he kind of he, he kind of earned that one. What about you, Mo? I mean, I'm, I'm really hoping that I get, you know, what I fucking hoped for 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 legacy, like I wanna see a uh, in-game currency that you can like, and I wanna see like daily quests, and I wanna see standalone missions come out for Blizzard like every three months. I wanna see like the kind of tavern brawl you have in uh, Hearthstone. I will see. I wanna see some kind of casual mode for StarCraft Two where they like tweak the rules of the game and bend it a little bit to keep it all fresh. I think these are all realistic things that are not hard to do. Uh, but, I mean, is, do I believe it's going to happen? Uh, by now, I, I kind of don't believe it's going to happen because there has been, like, zero advertisement about it at all. I mean, if there was some fucking huge shit coming, that would be... Blizzard would at least make some kind of, you know, trailer for it, I would think. But the fact yeah, that they would nothing announce... is happening is just that, like, the Legacy of Void is going to come, it's going to be an expansion. The expansion is going to affect one of one inside the game. I mean, the arcade is a little bit different, but I mean, it's not, it's not enough. So it's starting to look more and more. I mean, this is the truth, and the truth is very sad. I think this game is just going to disappear in two years, unless something happens with it. So, so I mean, I'm, I'm obviously very sad, but that's, that's what I think right now is, is going to happen. I don't think there's, basically, I don't think anything is going to happen. Damn, dude. Wow. I'm on subbing. It's like, <laughs> listen, it's okay. like, you're, you had like a mommy dog and she gave birth to like two dogs and one of them is like missing a leg. And then you just look at it and you're like, you're fucked. You're just going to die in two years. Why am I even bothering with you? Like, should I feed you even? That's, that's... I agree with the decision with like, uh, not decision, but like opinion with like daily quests and stuff. I think that would be pretty, pretty good. Also, like, um, I'm, I'm, uh, I don't know if Moro uh, mentioned it, but um, if they were releasing a new, like, not necessarily campaign missions, just if they kept updating the co-op thing that they're releasing. Like every couple of months, but not like release one hero, but like have, you know, enough content to hold you until the next, you know, release of people that play single player would keep playing. Because if they just release like the heroes that are planning to do now and then just forget it for a year, I think that's pretty, pretty bad. I think they got to keep uh, updating things and maybe like why not in a year, like uh, put some new campaign missions, which like don't necessarily need to make the story longer or different just like give something for people who like single player to play yeah i think like a unified point system across blizzard games to incentivize like you play a game of heroes and you can redeem that whatever you earn into hearthstone or starcraft would be cool like a global currency for all their games but i think we're far away from that uh, I don't think that's going to happen because you, you're going to be able to farm gold faster like in Hearthstone and Circa. So it would be like way too much trouble. Oh yeah, it'd be a tough balancing act, but I wish there was an incentive to like 
do your dailies in a in a game and rip the rip the benefits in another game, and somehow some yeah. way in a balanced manner. Uh, Maybe in Starcraft Five. <laughs> All right. Let's hope this this row disagrees with Lilbo decision. Otherwise, it will be a cir circle jerk circle jerk topic. Do you guys think we did a good job with Lilbo? The topic. I, th I think we did pretty well. Mo, what do you think? Yeah, I think we uh, covered every perspective. It's really okay. sad that uh, Huck is at BlizzCon because he actually disagreed. And it, was, it would have been uh, maybe we'll get this TLDR next week when he comes on. Um, all right. If there's no one who disagrees with Lilbo decision or at least criticize him, this is just God damn it! Why do I not read these before saying them out loud? All right, uh, there's a small trend with Korean disrespecting, cheesing the fuck out of foreigners. See below for example. Is this just a few individual cases, a fan looking too hard, or a semi-common thing? If so, is this a form of testing, disrespect, or a bit of both? Has this happened to any of you guys when you've gone against Korean? I don't think you even need to go against, uh, I, I mean, like, okay, let's say you're playing in a tournament, right, a offline tournament, you know, in your hometown or whatever, in your country, right? And let's say you're a master player and you get matched up against a gold player in the first fucking round. Like, you're gonna, you can just cheese him to make it go faster and go take, like, a food break or whatever, of course I'd say that. But you get the point. It's just at any level of competition... You always have the option to take the shortcut and win very easily if you clearly outmatch your opponent. Is it a sign of disrespect? What do you think, Mo? Uh, I think it is a little bit. I mean, uh, this happens to me all the time when I play against Koreans. Is that they just they play like extremely aggressive. They do like honestly dumb builds that shouldn't work against me. And then we go into meta a little bit here, is that, let's say I'm playing, I'm playing the game, like, I'm playing at the level of play that's up here, and the Korean might be up here normally, so I'm like trying to get up here, right? Mm -hmm. But then he comes with his fucking bronze league build that's like down here, and I'm not scouting for that, because I'm like, why the fuck would he <laughs> only make circlings and roaches for the first five minutes of the game and go attack me? And then he just fucking kills me. I mean, this happens so often for foreigners. We could see it with Lil Lilbao. It was like, oh, he was trying to like fight this macro game life up here. But then his life made a retarded gold league build and killed him in early game. So that's that's what just what Koreans do. That's probably what I would do if I played somebody a lot worse than me. I would probably say like, all right, let's go, <laughs> let's go crazy. Let's proxy reaper this guy. Even though I know it's a bad build, and this is an old build, F people figured this out half a year ago. But then they come and do that anyway, and you're like so fucking mad when you lose, because you know how to defeat it. But you're just sitting there like, you're fucking stunned, like, why the fuck would you do that? Of course I can defend it if I would actually scout it for it. But you know, I'm trying to cut some corners to get a little bit higher. I'm not gonna SV scout, because I need to get, you know, up here to play a macro game against him. And then they kill you in early game. And that just happens like to all foreigners all the time. But I, I think we're getting better by now. I mean, we're starting to learn how Koreans actually approach foreigners in tournaments. And they actually, they want to test out their opponent. They just throw that bullshit on you in early game. If you defend it, you're going to make them look silly. And, and you're just going to stomp them in game one. And then they have to win 2-0 from there. So I don't think what they're doing is very smart. And that's why I think it's... It's not disrespectful disrespectful in terms of, you know, you know how you respect somebody in real life, you know, respect. It, it, I'm, we're talking about players here, like, how good is this player? I mean, you should respect him as a player. And that's, <clears throat> Koreans, Koreans don't quite do that with foreigners. And I think that's quite a mistake from them. But they have get, been getting by with that for such a long time. Um, so I think that's just going to be less and less of that. Uh, but yeah, in terms of like respecting a person or whatever, it has nothing to do with that. I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't know what else to say about that. But I'm, I'm kind of just explaining why foreigners die in early game like that, why it looks so silly, and that's why. I actually have different opinion about that. Um, so I actually wondered about the same thing, like why would you do this? You know, because obviously we know like oh, for, uh, foreigners get all in the first game very often. Like it's probably like 70, 80 percent of the time. Um, so when 
this is from my personal uh, experience. When I play tournaments, and let's say I meet a Masters player, uh, I don't all in him because I think he's garbage and like, oh, I want to just fucking save my time. Uh, let's say I'm playing against a Protoss, it's Masters. So what I do is I'm considering that we both think that I'm better than him, you know. So that's same with Koreans and foreigners. Koreans think I'm better than him. Foreigners think he's probably better than me. So what I do is I go gas first against Protoss in HOTS, and then I do the Widow Mind Drop because of the two things. One thing is the only chance for him to actually win is to all-in me, and, and all-ins themselves are good against other all-ins if you micro better, which if you're a better player, you should. So if the Protoss goes for one base and I'm one base with Widow Minds, I just win. If he goes for macro and I go for gas first, he's not going to expect it. And then I push him like so I can know what he's weak against. You know, I can see how his defense sucks, how he's too greedy. I see, you know, what he likes to tech to. So I do it more to like pressure the opponent. Because if you win the first game and you're a better player going into the series, you won already. Because the next game you can go CC first. And the other guy is not going all, all in you because he's going to either expect that or for you to play safe. So I think Koreans do it to like test out like how good you are. Because if you, in my opinion, like if you can't defend an all in, you're not going to beat me in macro game. And I know for a lot of people that makes no sense. It's like, you know, all ins are a lot easier. But if you cannot defend the basic strategies, then... There's no point going against, uh, you know, macro game against you. And if it's too easy, if the for, uh, Korean all-ins, a foreigner, if it's too easy, he might just do it again because he's like, well, this guy has clearly no fucking clue. So he just does it again. I think what life led to, what life did to uh, Little Bo was different. I think Six Ball was definitely a little bit of like, okay, let me get this over with. I, I don't think the first two strategies were like disrespectful. I think the Moonlight one, he would have done it if he played against another Protoss as well. Um, and then the 12 pool, he was, you know, saw that, you know, I might as well just do it. And then the six pool was just like, okay, let's let's get it over with. Yeah, that's yeah, a... there's another, also another thing to this is that uh, like you're playing a bracket, right? This is not the case for Lil Bao, uh little about life since life has uh, not not uh, more produces in the bracket but but just in general like if you play a dreamac open or whatever the korean uh, or a good player if he plays against a weak player he has the opportunity to do old builds bad builds and he has the opportunity to do yeah. short games just because he wanna he wanna hide to people not only his play style and his builds he also wanna hide what kind of shape he's in so he remains sort of a mystery to everybody else. Because people, they watch games like during tournaments. They, they keep an eye on each other and all that. So you also want to avoid doing that. Okay, interesting. Uh, next question. Uh, why is it not okay to be a critic about Lil Bo Bliskin approach? Lil Bo and the others are, Lil Bo and others are quite aggressive and hateful. If you are not the same opinion as them, he even calls those who don't like what he did not real fans of him. By the way, according to his tweet, it seems Del Bo still did not understand that people don't like that he lost, but they they just don't like his attitude. Well, I think I think for one that the problem with Reddit is that it's a big echo chamber. So like, let's say like a hundred people say like I don't I don't I hate Del Bo or I don't like Del Bo, then sometimes it can look like a thousand people are saying that. Although I mean, there's been like fifteen hundred comments about the the Lil Bo thing, so you think like, wow, fifteen hundred is a lot of vocal people that didn't like what Lil Bo did. But in the grand scheme of thing, there was fifteen hundred people watching, or fifty five thousand people watching uh, WCS. So, in the grand scheme of thing, is that that many people? No. But when you read all of those comments, it's like a big majority of people just hating on Lil Bo and. At some point, it it does get repetitive. Like you, you're just reading shit after shit after shit. So it's okay for people to be uh to to be critical of him and to criticize his decision, but I don't know. There needs to be like a sort of middle ground. Like he like when people say like he disgraced every foreigner by this or like he's 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 like the bad example why foreigner do this and that. Like they're just I think it's like too big of a general. Ge generalization 
which I think is a problem. I don't know, Beastie, what do you think? Yeah, so uh, little like pro gamers and little bo uh, don't have the problem with people giving him critic. Critic is like saying, oh, you should have not, not done that. I think you should have practiced all the way. What people on Reddit did is like, you're a fucking disgrace for your family, for yourself, for your fans, for all the pro gamers, for every single person that's foreigner. It's like, I think you should fucking calm down. Like, that's your opinion. You don't need to, like... He he lost. Like, it's not like he's fucking happy about it. You can, you know, critic someone and be normal about it, or you can just, like, go full berserk mode. Uh, also, the comment that I really disliked was uh, someone from... I don't know if it's someone from Kespa or just guy that has Kespa name, I don't fucking know, on Reddit, which was something like... Little Bo is the disgrace for uh, whole gaming, and this is how he, this is how he represents the whole foreign pro gaming community, and that this is why no one takes foreign pro gamers seriously. And he keeps saying like foreign, 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 while in Korea we have match fixing. It's like yeah, because you know in Korea everything's fucking perfect, but too bad that guy thought of you know thought differently to approach his BlizzCon spot, but you know, match fixing, let's just, you know, put him in jail and not talk about it at all, because it's not like that happens in Korea often, right? Yeah. I just, I don't like that fucking approach, like, uh, you know, that person wouldn't get the reaction that I just said about match fixing, I would have never mentioned it, but like, when someone is trash talking, like, whole, f like, whole world except Korea, because of something one guy decided that's, you know, this is in my best interest, I think it's just fucking stupid, to be honest. Moro, any final thought on this subject? It's the last question yeah. that I'll ask. By the way. Yeah, like, it, yeah, I totally agree. Like, just because Lil Bao did this, it doesn't mean shit about... Like, that, that doesn't say shit about foreigners' mentality or anything. Like, Lil Bao is an indiv individual. All of us would have done differently. Like, to each his own, what we think is important. And maybe to him, this wasn't important. Sit down and practice for that. And that's like, that's, that's on him. That's not all of us foreigners. And I bet you could see examples where Koreans are the, exactly the same way is that you, maybe you have a show match put up or, or whatever, or some guy qualifies for a tournament early on in the year, like for an IEM and he qualifies to the IEM world. And then he goes to IM World and he didn't practice because he knows that all those other guys qualified like they're the shit now. I was good one year ago. I'm not good anymore. So why would I practice for this 100K tournament first prize when there's no fucking way I'm going to win that? I mean, Koreans do the exactly the same thing. It's just that this happened to get out of the box. I mean, that's what, that's what any normal person do is just that they... If they don't find it worth it, they're not going to do it. And that, I think you have to put put the uh, Blizzard at a little bit of a fault here. Is that Blizzard like gave a carrot to Lilbo here, say like, oh, oh, look over here, like all this legacy stuff is going on over here. So he won't not go on, go to that. So I mean, if you had a better format in the first place by Blizzard, you would never have players. Uh, wager in in such a way that it did. You need to give incentives to for players to, to actually want to do stuff. They just don't do it because it's the right thing to do. That's not how it works. Okay, very good point. Um, Lor Moro, how long before your replays are sponsored by uh, Windows XP? <laughs> Windows 10. <laughs> What? No, no, the guy asked Windows XP specifically. Oh, oh. I don't know what it's about. Uh, yeah. You don't remember Windows XP? Is it... I remember Windows XP. I don't, I don't know. It said some joke I don't understand. Because you're just you're ghetto, so you don't get Windows 10. You can only yeah, get yeah, sponsored okay. by Windows XP. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, Yo, no, it's no, one of no, your no, subs, no. man. Talk to your yeah, subs. Yeah, it's, it's my, my subs. You're <laughs> supposed to ignore them. <laughs> my subs, we ignore my subs because they, they, they're special. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on. Um, it was announced earlier that Coach Park is leaving StarCraft II to coach League in China. 
did any of you have any experience working with him when you were in Korea? Um, so I guess the I guess rewarded full posted that hoping that Huck would be on the show. Uh, I've met Coach Park like two or three times. Uh, one time he was playing at MLG. I met him in China. I don't think I met him in Korea. I might have did. Um, but uh, yeah, Coach Park was just a god. And uh, maybe he just wants to move on to uh, bigger and greater things. You have to remember that he was coaching SKT maybe, I think, four to five years ago. So, uh, you know, he's won, he's won championships. He was hoping to win Pro League uh, with CJ this year. Didn't work out for him. I'm sure he's going to have a lot of success with uh, CJ. Wait, wait, the... I wanna... Go ahead. I have to interrupt you. I want to ask something. Where is his honor and passion? Why did he make decision based off of money? The fuck is with that? <laughs> Are we going full circle, guys? See what I did there? <laughs> yeah, I see what you did there. Yeah. All right, Rip Coach Park, we'll miss you. Uh, and I think that's really about it. Uh, thank you, everyone. Uh, oh, can B Security please stream Legacy of the Void sometimes now that base god Bob Maru Ross is playing Protoss so that I can learn how to old Ravagers all in. Thanks, schnitz Schnitzel. No. No? You're no, ready? I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna stream? be back streaming. Uh, no, it's... I'm going like hardcore uh, pro gamer. I'm not gonna roleplay. Um, I have... <laughs> I have tournaments coming up, uh, so I'm going to be going to those and I'm going to try to practice as hard as I can. Uh, I think, like, for myself, I I can't justify streaming, uh, you know, at a loss of, like, actual practice. Because, like, when I used to stream, I didn't make almost any money. And when you, at least for, this is for me, like, when I stream, I can't really practice. I just, like lose half of the games because I'm trying to read the chat, you know. And then when I'm done with stream, I'm not like, oh, I'm going to practice now. It's like, no, I'll go fucking do something else. Yeah. So, That's, yeah. You always get that feeling. Yeah, I guess I guess some people like stream for money, don't, like you are saying. I mean, to me, it's, it's more about, you know, satisfying my fans, you know. You know. <laughs> Can you stop fucking it's the, role it's playing? The right, it's the right Whoa. thing. Whoa, you're gonna go okay, I, I know it's gonna ruin my oh career Lord. a little bit to be streaming. Like I might not win as many tournaments, but you know it's it's for the fans after all. Your heart is so big. I oh, wish yes. one day I can be half of a man you are. <laughs> you know, more more only more only does this to uh, support his steak addiction. It's one steak every night, like a fucking pimp. <laughs> All right, guys, there's no more questions on Reddit. Thank you so much for asking questions on Reddit. Thank you for the call-ins. Tried our best to make it good. <laughs> we did the best with what we had. Uh, let's go with the shout-outs. Mo, what can we expect from you uh, coming forward in the future weeks? Uh, I, I don't know what I'll be doing during this downtime. There might be very little streaming. There, I might do different games. I might you know, fucking play Brood War, maybe a sort of storm. I don't know what's happening this week. But post that of the legacy, I mean it's just back to the back to the good old streaming. Uh I, I really like Legacy of the Void. I really enjoy just sitting down and practicing. So I mean you can expect me in tournaments and so on. I really do care a lot about them compared to Heart of the Swarm. Uh, yeah, that's it for me. Great show. Alright. What about you Beastie? Where are you gonna be next? No streaming for um... me? No, no streaming in, you know. Will you try to keep uh, your fans up to date on what you think about Terran on Facebook? Uh, I, I, no. No, people, uh, no, just no. I'm not going to go into it. Okay. Um, oh, you really so... hate your fans, though? Well, I, I think it's great that you no, still take like... the time to come on Remax to say your opinion, okay, though. So, so, okay, so this, this is what happened, basically. I wrote, like... You know, those things about Terran and Protoss. Yeah. And everyone was like, oh shit, he wants to buff every Terran unit. He wants to nerf every other unit. Uh, I didn't say, like, literally do every fucking thing. I said, like, this is one of the things you could change. You know, this is one of the things you could change. Uh, people just took it, like, 
oh, this fucking whiner, he just wants his race to be the best and, like, other races to be unplayable. So I just, like, uh, just fucking give up. Um, so for tournaments, um, again, I'm going to play in, I guess it's called World Championship ISF. Uh, I mean, Korea in Seoul. I'm going to be playing in Nexon Arena, so that should be pretty fucking cool. That's in December 2nd, I think. And another tournament that's not announced yet, so can't really do that. Uh, you know, can't talk about it yet. Other than that, uh, please stop donating money tomorrow and subscribing because he just does it for the fans. He loves you guys so much. He doesn't need the money. He eats air usually, and he just drinks water, which is you know pretty much free. So he doesn't need any of you know your money. And don't forget to uh, vote for tomorrow in Swedish O Gaming thing nation with wars, countries yeah. nation wars yes because you know everyone wants to see him there so yeah that's pretty all much it all right as for myself i'll be streaming tomorrow and then after that i'm going to blizzcon so i'll be back on uh, i'll be back sunday night i don't know what i'm going to stream on monday maybe i'll just take another day off and prepare as for remax uh usually we do this on tuesdays uh, but Legacy is going to release next week, so maybe we'll do it on Thursday, uh, depending on, you know, what Huck and me and Mauro want to do. Uh, but no, thank you everyone for watching, thank you for the Reddit questions, thank you for, you know, the, the favorites, the tweets, actually, the retweets, actually, not favorites, they're likes now on Twitter, get used to it, you better like them hearts. Oh, I, I hate that. You hate that already? Yeah, what, is it's, it too like, girly? it's like a heart. Like yeah, is, a it heart. Too, is it too girly? You Wait, what like, is wow. it? On Twitter, yeah, favorites are bro. favorites are dead. They're now called likes. And it's a little heart. Oh click my god! I, oh, I like ruined this. You. I like this. Yeah. Oh. By the way, I was joking. Give money tomorrow. He deserves it. There. He's a ten out of ten role player. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, but are you gonna sub this day? Yo, what the fuck? Oh, gaming is C two hey, is in chat. You took off my fucking mod and you never gave it back. Me? Come on. Well, you weren't the sub. Yes, it was. No, you still, you still a mod. Oh, come oh, on. No, okay. There, okay, there's what? some pleb in the chat that knows I sub tomorrow, and I was a sub what? for a month, and he never gave me the mod back. So I was like, "Fuck this guy." No, no, that must be a technical difficulty. Yeah. Nah, yeah I, I, I was even, I was like, if I get mod, I'm gonna give, donate hundred dollars, but you never gave me the mod. So I was like, eh. uh, oh, "You lost a fan right that. here." You lost a fan right here. I did the same <laughs> thing with Nanny. Well, I was a mod. I was subbed. He unmod me. I didn't sub back. Fuck you, bitch. That's how it works. I, I stand behind you, Beastie. Fuck you, more. Oh, yeah. fuckers. Fuck you, more. You said join the content and shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take care, guys. We'll see you next week. Keep uh, keep on Twitter to see when it's going to be the next show. Take care. Bye-bye. All right. Great episode, guys. We did it. Yeah, nice.